Homes on wheels, wheels on wheels, barbecue pits on lawn tractors. Don't miss this episode of Lifestyles of the Rednecks and Limits. Be part of the Redneck Luxury Pool Party. Come along for the ride as I, Robin Leach, take you on a fantastic tour of luxury homes, fortune and yachting through bios and swamps, and redneck romance. Deep in the heart of Texas we join Mr. Fry, direct from his high-rise villa in Buck Tussle, Texas. We join this man who is valet to the original arbiter of all things funky, Pop Daddy, to the fabulous Pitmaster T, from high-tech mobile bag phones from Pop Daddy's Stretch DeLorean. Here he is, assisted by his Betty of Beauties, Mr. Fry. Now we got a lot to do today, but we'll be right back with Butt Glitter 2.0 right after this important message. We got to pay our bills, you know what I mean? <laughs> Master T was the genius of his generation, but with genius can come insanity. I've told you this before, you're not pulling them in like you used to. Nobody understands your barbecue but yourself. Pitmaster T kicked out of the National Barbecue Forum. You're not blind. Look around you. Ain't nobody digging you. Banned three times from Barbecue Brethren. Let me give you some good advice, Junior. Your barbecue makes sense to nobody but yourself. Don't miss the most incredible and funky barbecue movie of its time. That was sparked up what you did, man. Big Mister don't like it, and I don't like it either. I don't care. To show you that we're sympathetic to your problems, here's two tickets to tomorrow night's show. Don't forget to bring a girlfriend. <laughs> Pitmaster T, abandoned by his crew. We give you a recipe. You say you're gonna use it, but you never do. Why should he do your recipe? He's been getting along fine without them. Next thing you know, you'll be wanting to use his propane fire starter. Everyone shunned him. You can really hurt me. But within Pitmaster D is a deep sadness. That barbecue rub. It's pretty good. Did you write that down? No, man. I don't write it down. I don't have to. That's the difference between. A sadness that drives. You got a smoker? Yeah, I got a smoker. You gonna sell barbecue? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Never use gas. When we Yes, they Is the water warm enough? Yes, they suck. Don't miss the most incredible and funky barbecue movie ever made. Tell you something. Pop Daddy's barbecue will always whip your ass. Why? Because you ain't bad enough to do it yourself.
now because I got one of these. Prince is going to give us any trouble. Right on the money. Two pounds. Two parts. Shock and time. Oh, that is so smoky. What do we got? Two pounds right on the money. Just a little bit short, but really not enough much to matter. Notice how far away my stuff is? Want to look at what we've got there so far? Here's one of the hardest parts, uh, messing around with Bootsy Cottles. You got to be very careful with Bo Bootsy Cottles. All right, got it on the money. One half part Bootsy Cottles. Notice how far away that is. Working out pretty well. Larry Graham is only one part. Oh, that smells great. One pound of Larry Graham. This one you ought to be able to figure out. 
It's Little Richard. Shut up! And we're going to use three parts. So three parts in this particular case is going to be three pounds. Three pounds on the moon. All right, now let me just talk a moment real quick about George Clinton. As you know from my recipes, George Clinton is the base to everything funky. He's not. George Clinton was doing the funk before James Brown. There are two types of George Clinton. There's George Clinton and the Parliaments. Okay? And then there's George Clinton, Parliament, Funkadelic. A lot of people don't know that George Clinton was a member of, of a doo -wop group. Three pounds of George Clinton. Three parts. It says on the dang box. The reasons why I use this type of George Clinton is because it's larger crystals, salt content is going to be a little bit lower. It also helps keep everything uh, separate. The table of salt tends to bind a little bit more. Well, now we've got. Now we've got quite a mix up of spices. And there's eight pounds of this stuff. There's eight pounds of Tina Turner to add. I'm gonna give this a mix before we do that. You can always hook it back on later. Over. See those large grains of salt. Does anybody know your 